this talk is going to be a little out there, uh, not organized really, but point by point, a few lessons I've learned over this time. When I first made the discovery, I, I thought people wanted to know what all this was. I was so excited that I made the discovery, I was like, shit, I have to tell everybody about it. But a lot of people, they don't want to know. They're happy. They're happy in their little bubbles of reality. And anything that threatens that, they will ridicule. And on that point, the most effective means of social control, I found out, is ridicule. By ridiculing people and putting them down, you're effectively saying, I have power over you, you have to do as I say, you know, all that stuff. So, keep in mind, the reason why people ridicule is because they feel powerless in specific situations. So they lash out at others. So I guess it's a sort of compliment in disguise, if you will, if you get ridicule from somebody. It's them being afraid that they're losing their power and control over their own thoughts and actions and behaviors. and That's all it is. But it doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, though, to the other person being ridiculed. On the point of making the mistake of assuming people wanted to know what, no, wanting to know what the Earth is, I also tried to force this new worldview onto others. That's a big no-no. You can't force a worldview on somebody. You have to allow them to make the discovery themselves inside of themselves. Because if not, they're just never going to get it. You have to kind of lead them to it. If they, if they want to be led there. And like a horse, you can't make him drink. You can lead the water, lead the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. And with a something this big, a worldview change is incredibly emotionally turbulent. And I don't blame people for not wanting to know this stuff. I don't blame them at all. It did one hell of a number on me emotionally, and socially, and has changed me inside and out. And the change was very, very painful. Anxiety attacks, depression, on the verge of being bipolar almost. Another main lesson I learned is, after experiencing all this, I've learned that when people go to school, for the most part, to get advanced degrees, they're not only going there for the topic at hand, they're going there to form a sense of self, their identity. So the, the topic is just one tiny little part. To really form your identity is why a lot of people study that stuff. They want to feel as if that's who they are as human beings. So what happened was when those, those people, they go to form their identity inside those groups and you just happen to be somebody outside of those groups and you don't have the same identity they have, they don't uh they won't they won't change their identity just because you have a new topic to change. Their identity is gonna remain the same and they're gonna believe that they're the ones that actually know what's going on and there's no possible way to get through to them. I've learned that. You know, a previous email from Anthony Abruzzo about two years ago when I was talking to him is that they have their own purposes and their own uh, justification for believing what they do. They have their own their own things. The, the topic at hand and the discovery is completely irrelevant to them. And that's one of the naive presumptions I made was to think that they wanted to know what a major discovery looked like, but they're just not prepared for it. Another big idea that I've learned is the process involved, the accepted process. I made the mistake that this discovery, I could just email to somebody and it would be interpreted purely on a topic basis. Oh wow, this is how it actually works. We did everything wrong. We have to account for this new insight. It doesn't work like that. The process of discovery was circumvented and they do not like that. To make a discovery, they have an unspoken process involved when it comes to making a discovery. The process is you go to school, you know, 
after high school. Then you go to college, you get your bachelor's in science, and then you get your master's, and you get your PhD, then you post PhD work, and then you go to conferences, then you get the grants for the telescopes, and you send the telescopes up, and then you look into the telescopes, and you make the big discovery, and you write papers, and all this stuff. And it takes many, many, many years for the unspoken process of discovery to take place. And that's the whole thing. They're the ones with the money, the power, the control, the authority, the telescopes, the hundreds of years of tradition, in some cases a thousand years of tradition with really old schools or near a thousand, to circumvent the process of discovery is something that they do not want you to realize that you can do. You can completely circumvent all of their modes of, of processes of, of coming to uh, an incredible insight because it doesn't pay for them to have done all that work and then you have somebody outside of your little group saying well this is how it actually works and you can't really you don't have any say in this because you didn't go through the motions and that's that's not a good way of thinking about things because guess what you can completely skip going through the motions in many many instances not e discovery related with life related some people just do things a lot quicker than others they don't have to spend years and years in school they don't have to be a part of these large groups of people before you know their ideas are valuable their ideas are valuable now they need to get out there now there's no there's no need to to put things through this uh through the hoops you know so basically, you have all these steps, okay? That's the accepted, unspoken way. And then you have me. Boom. I went to school. I learned about thermodynamics, physics, chemistry, biology. And then boom, I put it all together, all at the same time. People have done this before. I'm not, I'm not the only person that's done this. That's, that's what happens when you make an accidental discovery. But, yeah, a few, those are the few uh, ideas. Hopefully, hopefully these ideas can help people out. But, I mean, it, it's a lot different than what I expected it to be. And hopefully people can understand that it's not a conspiracy here. What we're dealing with are large groups of people, and they all have their own ideas about how the world works, their own intuitions, their own uh, accepted social groupings and their own careers and sometimes you're just an outsider to all of it so they have no uh they have no reason to acknowledge you but in this specific instance i think it's up to them to acknowledge it or else they will continue to be scratching their heads and overall just having a very difficult time all right, later.